Electricians versus plumbers, which trade should you choose? When you think of essential services, two which almost always spring to mind are electricians and plumbers. The thinking is that without these, would the world experience a major crisis? So, which one to choose when you need to make a career choice? We scoured the internet for facts regarding these two professions and found the information we needed. This video will inform you as to which decision to make. Each job has its glamour, but they also have their negative aspects aspects such as narrow dusty ceilings and sewerage. We hope you enjoy the video. So electricians versus plumbers, which trade should you choose? But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The history of electricity. In the history of electricity, no single defining moment exists. The way we produce, distribute, install and use electricity and the devices it powers is the culmination of nearly 300 years of research and development. Long before any knowledge of electricity existed, people were aware of shocks from electric fish. Ancient Egyptian texts dating from 2750 BC referred to these fish as the thunderer of the Nile and described them as the protectors of all other fish. Electric fish were again reported millennia later by ancient Greek. Roman and Arabic naturalists and physicians. Several ancient writers such as Pliny the Elder and Scribonius Largus attested to the numbing effect of electric shocks delivered by electric catfish and electric rays and knew that such shocks could travel along conducting objects. Patients suffering from ailments such as gout or headache were directed to touch electric fish in the hope that the powerful jolt might cure them. Electricity would remain little more than an intellectual curiosity for millennia until 1600 when the English scientist Scientist William Gilbert wrote De Magnet, in which he made a careful study of electricity and magnetism, distinguishing the lodestone effect from static electricity produced by rubbing amber. He coined the new Latin word electricus of amber or like amber from electron, the Greek word for amber, to refer to the property of attracting small objects after being rubbed. This association gave rise to the English words electric and electricity, which made their first appearance in print in Thomas Brown's Cytodoxia Epidemica of 1646. Efforts to understand, capture, and tame electricity began in the 18th century. For the next 150 years, dozens of natural scientists in England, Europe, colonial America, and later the United States analyzed electricity in nature, but producing it outside of nature was another matter. Control of electricity didn't happen on any large scale until the late 19th century, setting the stage for widespread commercial use of electricity where international researchers engaged in pure scientific research, and entrepreneurial businessmen who made their own major discoveries or produced, marketed, and sold products based on others' ideas. The History of Plumbing Plumbing originated during ancient civilizations as they developed public baths and needed to provide potable water and wastewater removal for larger numbers of people. The Mesopotamians introduced the world to clay sewer pipes around 4000 BC, with the earliest examples found in the Temple of Bel at Nippur and at Eshnuna, used to remove wastewater from sites and capture rainwater in wells. The city of Uruk contains the oldest known examples of brick-constructed latrines, constructed atop interconnected fired clay sewer pipes, circa 3200 BC. Clay pipes were later used in the Hittite city of Hattusa. They had easily a detachable and replaceable segments and allowed for cleaning. Standardized earthen plumbing pipes with broad flanges making use of asphalt for preventing leakages appeared in the urban settlements of the Indus Valley civilization by 2700 BC. The word plumber dates from the Roman Empire. The Latin for lead is plumbum. Roman roofs used lead in conduits and drain pipes and some were also covered with lead. Lead was also used for piping and for making baths. Plumbing reached its early apex in ancient Rome, which saw the introduction of expensive systems of aqueducts, towel wastewater removal, and widespread use of lead pipes. With the fall of Rome, both water supply and sanitation stagnated or regressed for well over a thousand years. Improvement was slow, with little effective progress made until the growth of modern densely populated cities in the 1800s. During this period, public health authorities began pressing for better waste disposal 
disposal systems to be installed to prevent or control epidemics of disease. Earlier, the waste disposal system had consisted of collecting waste and dumping it on the ground or into a river. Eventually, the development of separate underground water and sewage systems eliminated open sewage ditches and cesspools. The use of lead for potable water declined sharply after World War II because of increased awareness of the dangers of lead poisoning. At this time, copper piping was introduced as a better and safer alternative to lead pipes. What does an electrician do? Electricians design, install, and repair electrical power systems, including communications, lighting, and control networks in homes, businesses, factories, and public spaces and thoroughfares. In addition to ensuring that electrical work is up to code, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics as of May 2018, 655,840 people were employed as electricians. What does a plumber do? Plumbers install and repair pipes that supply water and gas to, as well as carry waste away from, homes and businesses. They also install plumbing fixtures such as bathtubs, sinks, and toilets, and appliances, including dishwashers and washing machines. Experienced plumbers train apprentices and supervise helpers. They work alongside other construction workers. Electrician duties and responsibilities. Electricians' duties are diverse and depend on the employer and specialty, but some responsibilities are common to most. Diagnose electrical problems using diagrams or blueprints, install and repair electrical systems, inspect, troubleshoot, and conduct tests, pinpoint problems using a range of testing devices, safely use various hand and power tools, plan the layout and installation of electrical wiring, equipment, and fixtures, comply with all safety standards and regulations of the National Electrical Code, supervise and train others in the installation and repair of electrical components. Electricians get electrical power from its source to end users, install it safely, and perform testing maintenance and repair to keep it functioning properly. In the course of doing this work, they may also need to administer first aid or CPR, provide professional advice to customers, order parts, demonstrate knowledge of renewable or green energy components and systems, work productively with coworkers and the public, and remove trees, branches, and brush that interfere with power lines and electrical utility rights away. Plumber duties and responsibilities. Plumbers must be able to perform the following tasks. Install pipes and plumbing fixtures visually inspect equipment and operate test equipment such as pressure and vacuum gauges to determine the cause and location of trouble, clear obstructions from sink, drains, and toilets, troubleshoot problems and decide how to fix them, repair pipes and plumbing fixtures, estimate cost of installation and repairs, present recommendations and related pricings to customers. Plumbers must be capable of performing these tasks to ensure proper functioning of properties, plumbing systems. Electrician Salary Electricians who work for the government tend to be the most highly compensated, followed by manufacturing, contracting, and employment services, but compensation across all sectors is median annual salary $55,190, which breaks down to $26.53 an hour, top 10% annual salary more than $94,620, which is about $45.49 an hour, bottom 10% annual salary less than $32,940, which equals $15.84 cents per hour. Electricians are a highly unionized profession. In fact, the percentage of workers who belong to a union in 2018 was higher than that of workers in any other industry. Plumber salary. Plumbers earnings vary based on their experience and location. They receive a median salary that is higher than that of other construction trade workers and other workers in general. Median annual salary of $53,910. Top 10% annual salary $93,700. And the bottom 10% annual salary is $32,100. Many plumbers belong to labor unions that negotiate wages on their behalf. Those that do must pay membership fees. Electrician education, training, and certification. This job doesn't require a college education, but it does require extensive training as well as licensing. Apprenticed electricians must be at least 18 years old. Education, a high school diploma or GED is required. Apprenticeship, electrician apprenticeship programs generally last four to five years and include a minimum of 576 hours of classroom instruction and 8,000 hours of on-the-job training. Licenses. Most states and municipalities require that electricians be licensed. They must pass an exam that tests knowledge of electrical theory, the National Electrical Code, and
and local electrical and building codes, plumbing education, training, and certification. Most plumbers receive their training by doing an apprenticeship, which combines classroom instruction with paid on-the-job training. Most states also require a license to work independently. Apprenticeship. Apprenticeships are sponsored by trade unions and employers. They last from four to five years and include 2,000 hours of on-the-job training and classroom instruction. You will need a high school or equivalency diploma and must be at least 18 years old to be accepted into a program. In the classroom, you will learn about local codes and regulations, blueprint reading, and safety. License. Plumbers are required to have a license to work in most states and municipalities in the U.S. in addition to needing two to five years of experience, depending on where the license is issued. You must also pass an exam according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Electrician work environment. Electricians might work indoors in residential and commercial buildings or outdoors on construction sites, sometimes in inclement weather. Working as an electrician can be uncomfortable and at times dangerous. Electricians work in cramped spaces and spend a lot of time standing or kneeling. They're prone to minor injuries such as burns, shocks, and falls. So wearing protective clothing and equipment at all times is important. Plumbing work environment. Plumbers usually travel to different work sites each day, performing their jobs in homes, office buildings, and factories. They work in tight spaces, typically indoors, but some may work outside, even in poor weather. Plumbers frequently sustain injuries, including burns, cuts, and falls. Approximately 13% of workers are self-employed, those who can set their own schedules. There you have the main reasons to join these two professions. Which one would you choose and why? Conversely, why would you not choose a specific one? If you're already an electrician running your own business or just about to start and grow your own electrical business, you must learn the four critical things electrical business owners wish they had learned before starting an electrical business so you don't make the same mistakes. Electrician Accelerator have put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals. How to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition. How to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales. How to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link on the description below the video. Be sure to check back for more videos like this. Until then, stay safe.